off on another adventure. We've just pulled over to Roadside Cafe to uh, to get a bit of breakfast. I don't think either of us have had any breakfast this morning. I am. Yeah, uh, the annoying thing is that, as I just said before, it's been really, really nice. The weather has been absolutely stupendous. And then the day that we decide to have a two day camping trip camping stroke fishing it rains and it gets cloudy thankfully the rain stopped but it's still overcast and it's uh, it's quite cool now isn't it it's not too bad huh? you see that pigeon just, go, just landing it rape yep. things you see when you haven't got your shotgun mm. Well, it's a lovely sight, lovely and quiet. We're probably the youngest people here. We'll have a look in there in a minute. Um, there's a snooker table in there, toilets, fully equipped kitchen so you can use it if you haven't got your own. The only issue is that at the moment they're getting bombarded with little black flies. Probably from this uh, this rape field right at the back of us. Anyway, here's a Tuppence Hempney tour. This is a Conway trailer tent. Made in 1982, so it's quite an old one. Let's have a quick look round it. We have a solar panel here, uh, connected to a, an inverter and a leisure battery. Uh, because there was no electric hookups available um, on the, the days that we've uh, we've booked, so we've brought our own electric with us. <laughs> That's a gas bottle. Try and not oh, look pigeons on a rape field. You see that guys? Pigeons on a rape field and I ain't got my shotgun with me. <laughs> Typical. <clears throat> not a lot to see on the outside of course. We have our TV aerial, which looks a little bit like we are going to cut some hedges. And inside we have our little porch area, just to do a little bit of relaxing. 
we've only just set up so uh, it's still a bit untidy at the moment but follow me I think there goes Mark to spend a penny or 50 pence or whatever we're going to the indoor bit and we have our little kitchen with the leisure battery and inverter which is helping to run um, the lamp and our TV with a TV and a cool box which is also powered by electricity but we or can be powered by electricity we're not going to run it on the inverter and the battery because it will probably flatten it very quickly so we've been told by the camp owners that we can use their um, power socket in the barn um, just to keep that cool should we need to take it with us when we go fishing don't think we will so we've got pretty much standard uh, portable kitchen uh, as I say it's very old but it does the job that's all we need it to do isn't it at the end of the day and the final bit are the bedroom pods so we'll just step up on here and we have bedroom pod number one quite spacious little LED light there and another one in the center utilities box and bedroom pod number two again same size very spacious and it's great just to sit down in here have an evening and chew the fat if you see what I mean so all in all it's uh, quite a cozy little setup uh, we're just here for two days um, what the plans are um, we're going to try some beach fishing on uh, on one of the days uh, and on the second day we shall be doing some hopefully some mackerel jigging from uh, from the harbour wall um, if it's suitable or at least some fishing from the uh, harbour wall whether it's mackerel jigging or not I don't know well this is the barn on the site and the visitors book there I assume to leave comments etc air uh, dryer map local points of interest leaflets and stuff etc toilets and games and jigsaws yeah. and books fridge freezer microwave and we are just filling up the flask ready to go fishing so all in all it's quite a nice little campsite and just round here we have a snooker table how about that it's lovely I've got everything how good is that awesome but there you are there you have it there's our little setup I uh, hope you enjoyed that little bit um, stay with us for a bit of fishing Well, it's 10 to 7 in the evening and the sun's come out. Has it? That was a right bang, that wasn't it? Definitely somewhat on that. Oh, no, it's 
Oh, it's still on, it's still on. No, it isn't. Is it? Yeah, it is. It's still on. Yay! Oh, wow! You've only caught a bass, brother. Wow. It's a little bass. Mark's first ever bass. It's only a little fella, but well done. Here, yeah, take the prize. Take the prize. Well, it's too small to keep, like, but. I thought it weren't, it must have swung to what? Hey, look, there's going to <laughs> Oh, the hook's nearly having me. Hold him up, man, let's have a look. Watch them spines. Yeah, I know, that's why I flattened it down. Well, oh, lovely yeah. fish, hold him out then. Let's have a look. It's just gone hook him. And he's off. Oh, he's off. Come here. Just my bass. It's a lovely fish. Back he goes. <coughs> Off he goes. First bass. First ever bass, well done. Swine. I hate him. Might be weed, there's a lot of weed today. And plastic bags. It's definitely fire, isn't it? It looked like it. Oh, yeah, it's definitely fire. Where is she? Another bass, another bass. Same size. Is it? Oh, it's in, it's a bit bigger, that. Another bass. That's bigger than mine. I'm not having that, that's bigger than mine! Come on, little fella! The really powerful bass. What have you got now? Come in. Oh, just grab out of it. <laughs> I've just got macro rig on it. The lively and <laughs> bass number two. Look at them spikes. Lethal then. Yeah. Ooh, that one in my eye. Right, little fella. Off you go back. Right, we've had two decent bass, haven't we? Yeah, we have. And we're gonna we're gonna pack up. We're gonna go go back to the campsite, have a bite to eat, and just chill out for the rest of the evening. Yep. Well, we're on his way back, and there's really? a couple. You can't see them. I apologise for the shaky camera and the rubbish focus, but. Um, Zoom's maxed, isn't it? Yeah. We've got two deer. I don't know what sort of deer they are. So I'm not a deer person. But um, yeah, we've just seen two deer. That's uh, rounded the day off rather nicely. Well, we've just had something to eat. And now we're going for a walk. Uh, and the campsite which, if I haven't mentioned already, is Wood Lake campsite, which is on Mappleton Road, near Hornsey. This is all the... This is all to do with the site.
I can't, I can't tell what coloured bottles are because it, because it light. Yeah. I'm going to hit you. <laughs> you can. I doubt it very much. I've played snook for about 20 years. And it's Steve Higgins at the table next. Steve Higgins? Oh, I don't know who he is, I've no idea. See table, but I can't see you. She's going flat. They're all, they're all down here now. They're flicking. They're flicking. And so on and so on. Day two, uh, it's about five o'clock in the evening, it's waiting on high tide, or should I say waiting on the flood tide. It's just after low tide at the moment, so we're going to fish the tide up, and we are at Brislington Harbour, and we're on the harbour wall. We haven't fished the harbour wall for about, what, ten years? Ten. ten years at least. As you can see, there's quite a few fishermen turned up, there's some this way, and there's one or two the other way as well. Um, so, yeah, they've all come to steal our fish. I'm tipping a flatty. Yep. Yeah. Trying to drop your camera in water. It is, a little flatty. But it's fish. <laughs> Nevertheless. Oh, you've hooked it in, um, yeah. in, in gizzard. It had a go. Do you know what? I, yeah, because you felt it. it. I felt it like goat first time. Oh, that's going to be, that's going to ring through a good bit. That's a dab. Yeah, it's only a bob. Huge, isn't it? Nope. Yeah, it's a fish though, you've caught one. <laughs> it's one nil. One nil. <laughs> Again. <laughs> it was quite a bite that though. For the yeah, it was. I thought it had got off, but that's because it's a small one anyway. Yeah, that was on blow look as well. And I think that's going to be the last fish of the day. <laughs> the first and the last. Last time I used this on the gas ring, right? This is what I did. Boiling something in there. Yeah. Kyle will here. Right? Yeah. And That's picked, his son. I picked it up with handle. Like yeah. That. It melted all my fingers. It went. Sorry, I said, "Yeah, smell that, Kyle." He went. It smells like bacon. <laughs> it's me Billy. But oh, look at that. I've got coffee on me handle. How's coffee leaked out? Good knows. Well, that's pretty much the end of our little two day adventure. Um, not a massive amount of fish caught. Um, we obviously haven't filmed everything. Um, we haven't filmed every fish caught either. But uh, it's been a really enjoyable break. Um, and it, tomorrow it's back to the norm. Back to the future. Back to, back to the future. Arse. So, that's the end of our little adventure. Tomorrow, back to the norm. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we had a great time. See you next time.